welcome back to my channel so in today's video I wanted to do just a really candid casual tour of my bathroom and what's in it so I'm gonna show you guys like what I keep in my shower the products that I use as well as like all my my whole skincare cabinet and what's in there and like what's in some of my drawers and stuff so I hope this is helpful I was kind of excited to do something a little bit different and it's something that I like to watch so um, let's just jump right in Okay, so here is our little bathroom. It's nothing fancy, but it's pretty cute, I guess. So I'm gonna show you the shower first. So um, coming in here, so I decided to move everything to the front of the shower so I wasn't like leaning over the shower and trying to talk and everything with the camera. So this is all what's normally in there. <laughs> along there you know what i'm saying so the first thing is this creamy cleanser it's my favorite cleanser right now and it's the mad hippie creamy cleanser i absolutely love it and i think i'm already on finishing my second bottle so i keep this like right on the edge of the shower so i can easily reach it at nighttime when i'm just washing my face or while i'm in the shower and then i also have the juice beauty exfoliating cleanser and this is a very, very mild cleanser. I just started using it. Um, my cousin got it for me for Christmas, but I just started using it and I just use it on the occasion when I want a really, really gentle light exfoliation, but nothing crazy. So sometimes I'll use it in the morning when I'm rinsing the shower or something like that. But if you're gentle, this would be a really good one for you. Next, I have this Desert Essence Coconut Conditioner. So I actually am using this to shave my legs. I have tried a ton of organic shaving creams and I go through them really quickly and I just feel like they're kind of not worth the money that I'm spending. So someone recommended using a conditioner and I used, I finished one of my Alba conditioners as a shaving cream and it worked really well. So then I went and purchased this strictly as a shaving cream and it's working really well, does the job and doesn't give me razor burn like just using soap does give me razor burn. So that works for that. This is a, a Cure Volumizing Shampoo I've had in the shower for a while. It's about half full and I was using it a while back and just wasn't in love with it. So it's just been sitting there. I'll probably finish it eventually or have Josh finish it for me or something like that. Um, it just wasn't wonderful, but there's nothing wrong with it. Next are the products that I use regularly on my hair, and I only wash my hair about twice a week, but I use the Innersense Pure Harmony Hair Bath, that is the shampoo, and the Pure Inspiration Daily Conditioner. So both of these are made for fine to normal hair, and my natural hair is very, very fine, so these work really well for that, and they smell absolutely amazing. Next, I just got this little travel slash sample version of the Evolve Ultra Repair Reconstructing Mask. So this works as a deep conditioner, but I think it's even more moisturizing than that. On the back it says to leave it in for 15 to 20 minutes, but the girl at Credo who helped me told me I don't have to commit to that long. I could do it for five minutes in the shower or whatever. So I've been needing a new deep conditioner for my hair and my ends. So I'm giving this a go. I've only used it once. And then I have two Acure facial scrubs. So you guys know I've talked about the Acure brightening facial scrub a ton. I've used this since I first switched over to Organic Beauty. This is a very, very scrubby and harshly physically exfoliant scrub. So I use this maybe every week, if that. I don't use it that often anymore, but it's really good at giving you a nice, like satisfying scrub. And then I have this Acure Pore Clarifying Facial Scrub with red clay in it. This is much more mild and much more gentle. I used to use this a lot more often, but now I use the polishing grains, which I'll talk about later, um, way more frequently, but this would be a good one to use like every other day or something as just a really gentle scrub. And it's not gonna be too harsh on your skin to use more frequently, especially if you're more sensitive. Then I just have my razor and a bar of soap. So someone recently asked me a good recommendation for like a body wash or a body gel and I don't really use any organic body gels. I actually just use this Dove unscented bar of soap. Um, I buy them in bulk at Costco and it's just what both Josh and I use in the shower. So we go through them really quickly. They're really gentle on like every part of your body and 
Um, I just love the simplicity of like a plain bar of soap. It's just classic. And then lastly, I keep this little glove, this exfoliating glove in the corner of the shower. So these are good. I just put this on my hand and use a bar of soap with it. And I like to use the glove for when I need an extra exfoliation all over my body, I don't have like a body scrub. This is much more economical and um, less messy too. But I use this when I want to scrub before shaving. It gives me a really nice clean shave when I'm feeling dry and I have dead skin. Also to scrub prior and after using a self tanner. It's really nice for that too. So those are all the products that normally sit in our shower at the moment. And then we have this little box above the toilet. So this just has a bunch of fresh little face towels to use. So I use these to either dry my face or wipe down the counters or whatever. And then a Meyer like toilet spray. And then up above I do have the Honest Baby Wipes. So we use these for bathroom needs or I use these to like wipe up messes or like wipe makeup off my hands and things like that. And then I have a box of Lola tampons up here because they're currently being used, if you know what I mean. I've been really struggling with the menstrual cups, so I've just been using the Lola tampons again, and I really like them. They're definitely the most affordable mail order tampons that I have seen. Um, and also, a lot of organic tampons are cardboard applicator, and these are plastic, so I really like that. And then this is one of those little exfoliating sponge things on a string. It gets hard when it's not being used and then you like soak it in water and it gets really soft. And it's really fun to use. It feels super interesting on the skin and it's a very gentle version of an exfoliating product. So if you're sensitive, I would recommend trying one of these. Okay, so now we're coming over to like the sink area. I just have these little old candle jars that I finished the candle and cleaned out. So I keep Q-tips in one and little cotton pads in the other. Some of the Meyer hand soap. And then I'll show you guys my main skincare section first. So this is kind of a snapshot of like all of the skincare that I use on a pretty regular basis. So in the top here, I have like um, a rose water I got at Anthropology on sale that I haven't tapped into yet. I have tea tree oil for if I'm having a breakout or something, I put this on as like a natural antibacterial and um, put this onto the blemish to help it kind of dry up and not spread. I have the Luna Nectar Lash and Brow Serum. I haven't been using this super regularly, but I'm gonna start and see if I notice a difference. They actually did send this to me, so I need to get on that and see what I think of it. I love their brand and um, everything they stand for is really great. So I have that and then my little jade roller right here to jade roll my face and my eye area. And oh, I'm like, what is that? There's a Q-tip back there. So that's what's on the little top shelf here. And then coming down to this shelf, I am like obsessed with this tiny little corner of my skincare. It just makes me so happy, all the little oils lined up. So I use the SW Basics Oil Serum. It's a really, really simple like oil slash serum that I use on my face every single day at nighttime. I absolutely love it. Um, SW Basics is really affordable and their ingredients are very minimal and really, really pure, so great brand. You guys know I'm obsessed with Mad Hippie, so I've talked about a lot of these, but I have the antioxidant facial oil. I use this over top of the serum as like a double oil at nighttime. I really like to slather up on the oils, and I've been mixing the two of these lately when I got the Skin Owl Geranium one, the Beauty Drops, so I use like three of these, and two of these in the palm of my hand and pat that into my skin and my neck. This is the Mad Hippie Exfoliating Serum. I haven't been using it a ton lately, but I like to have it on hand. I talked about that in my video, and then the Vitamin C Serum I use every day in the morning under my moisturizer. And then this is the Mad Hippie Eye Cream, and I use that every night. Uh, my cousin got me this French Girl Rose Lip Polish for Christmas, so it's a lip exfoliant and it works really well. It's super moisturizing and like oil based, so your lips are like conditioned during and after the process. 
so that's nice. I, Nudu is this brand that sent me a bunch of products. I haven't really been able to tap into a ton of them yet, but this is their toner and it's just like a very simple, gentle toner that I have up here. Um, and then these are the other two Skin Owl products that I got in the detox box. The um, Beauty Whip, so I mentioned this in my last video and I absolutely love it. It reminds me of another product I'm going to mention, but it's really, really nice moisturizing and it feels really luxurious. I used it last night and then I haven't done my little Skin Owl Steam, so I have that up here. And then like the only not organic product I have in here is my Paula's Choice um, BHA liquid. So I use this around my mouth and chin where I get a lot of under the surface um, clogged pores and acne and it's really the only thing that helps so you can use the exfoliating serum in the same way but this just works really really well for me and um, I just like can't live without it so I do have that in here and I use it like every other night and then this is very similar to the Skin Owl Beauty Whip that I was talking about this is the I don't know how to say it Joara um, it's a super hydrating thick kind of cream mask and it's for dry and dehydrated skin so I got this a couple months ago and I use it like once or twice a week and it, you just lather it up on your skin and your skin just really soaks it up and I use this instead of my oils on the occasion when my skin is feeling really dry this is a great thing to travel with and really really nice for those brutal winter months when your skin is just super dry Next, I have my Andalou Naturals Daytime Moisturizer. This has SPF 18 in it, and I'm using the rose one right now. I really like it, but I think I'm gonna try the Mad Hippie Face Cream after I finish it. These take me a really long time to go through, and they're really affordable. Um, in here is actually not a beauty counter cleansing balm. It is just Trader Joe's Virgin Coconut Oil and I use that to oil cleanse my face when I want to do kind of a more in-depth oil cleanse and I have like a little spatula to scoop it out with which I just really enjoy using for some reason. A tip would be to just use a really nice um, virgin, like not a cold pressed coconut oil on your face as a cleansing balm or an oil cleanser. You don't need to spend 20, 30, 40 dollars on an oil cleanser if you don't want to. They're basically the same thing. So I just put the coconut oil in this smaller, um, more cute and just convenient jar. Here I have two of the Coco Vite products that I use. Um, this was the other really gentle scrub I was telling you guys about. I've talked about it before. It's like called a polishing grain. I'm almost out actually, kind of. Um, so this is like a dry, a dry exfoliant that you mix with water and create kind of a paste and use on your face. It has turmeric in it and I really, really like this product. I think it's really, really nice. I can use this every other night or even every night and it doesn't um, overly exfoliate or strip my skin. It's really gentle, but it does give a nice physical exfoliant. So I really, really like this. I use this, um, use this and the BHA. I like switch off between a physical and a chemical exfoliant and that works really well to keep my chin and my skin clear from clogged pores and keep it nice and not getting flaky or too dry looking. This is the Coco Vite Coconut Charcoal Mask. I have not been using this lately. I've had it for a really long time, but it's a dry mask that you just add water to um, as a charcoal mask to clean out your pores, and I really did like it, and I probably should pick up using that because I finished my Derma E charcoal mask. And then three masks that I have over here are the Oil Exfoliating Manuka Mask. This I got in a subscription box a long time ago. It's a really hydrating like honey mask with these little um, berry type things in it that exfoliates when you rinse it off. So it's actually really similar to the Live Botanical Luna Rose and Honey Mask. 
I love this mask and it's very similar. It's like a honey mask with small exfoliating particles. So when you go to scrub slash rinse this off, you are exfoliating at the same time. So these are very similar and I really like both of them. But Live Botanical is a Portland brand, so I definitely see myself repurchasing from them. They have this new product out that looks to die for, so I really like their brand. And then I have the Tata Harper Resurfacing Mask. This is a rather pricey mask. Um, I remember I used like an entire Sephora gift card on this, and I still have quite a bit in here. And this is a mask that gives a really gentle, cooling and glowy look to your face. Um, it's very low maintenance and just very, very gentle. So if you're looking for just like a quick pick me up and some extra glowiness that day, I really do like this one for that, but I don't notice any like crazy results from it, if that makes sense. So, but I'll definitely use it up. Obviously, Tata Harper is pretty spendy. Okay, so that is the side of the mirror that I usually keep like closed. And then I just have like a few prettier items on this side. So here are my fragrances that I wear. Mostly I use this Ellis, um, Ellis Brooklyn Rose perfume. You guys know I absolutely love this. And then I have a sample of their sci-fi scent right here. And then I have two Pacifica scents that I just haven't been wearing, but I keep them in here. The Tahitian Gardenia is my favorite by them. And this is a mango one. It's really just like summery and light and it's nice to have around. And then I have this brand new hair oil by Prim Botanicals. I was really excited to get this and I'll talk about it more in the hair video that I'm gonna do, but it's really pretty packaging. And then this new, new to me, um, the Mermaid Dry Shampoo. It looks a little distorted because it the lid like popped open when I was traveling and I lost about half of the product in my cosmetic bag so that was really lovely but um, I really like this so far it smells really nice and I'm enjoying it more than the Acure one because I was kind of bored of that one so I really like that I know it's a popular one around and I'm liking it so far besides the fact that I just spilled half the product all over my stuff and then I just have like a little set of earrings down here and then back on my counter, so this is the Pop and Suki little um, makeup case I got for my birthday, and I had wanted it since Christmas time. It's really simple. It's just like a really open little structured box kind of a thing, and I just have like some of the makeup I've been wearing recently in here, and that's just sitting on the counter. And then I normally don't have these in here, but I wanted to show you guys what I store the rest of my makeup in. So these are two of the Madewell like crystal makeup bags. This one is like the little half moon shape, and this is like a really big boxy one. Um, I got this one for Christmas, and then I just got this one with a gift card. I really wanted this because it's really big and it obviously holds a ton of stuff, but to be honest with you, it's really hard to get in here and grab things and it kind of like hurts my hand on the zipper. So I like how big it is, but it's not convenient to get in and out of all the time. So um, this one is much easier to get in and out of. So I'll probably put products that I switch out more often in this one and not as much in this one, but I haven't done that yet. So those are usually in my bedroom, but I wanted to show you guys that. And then I just have a little stool and mirror in the corner because I like to put the mirror up here and sit at the stool and do my makeup and take my time and have my coffee and watch YouTube. So. That's my little station while we have kind of a smaller bathroom until maybe I have a bigger space to leave things more kind of set up. And then I wanted to show you guys what's in a few of my drawers just really quickly, nothing super fancy. So the top drawer is my drawer and I have in here my toothbrush. I have these Acure um, makeup removing wipes or they're micellar water cleansing towelettes. I just got these when I got my eyebrows microbladed because I wanted to have something to like wipe the makeup really precisely and not get anything on my brows and they work pretty well. I don't use these to remove mascara or anything. I think it's too rubbing and too rough so I just use this on like face stuff or you can use it to you know remove swatches off your hand or just whatever. They're kind of nice to have. And then I have these Pacifica underarm wipes. These are the I think coconut something and I use these when my armpits are kind of sweaty but I'm just like freshening up and I'm not like showering and then um, back here I have little like pre 
packaged alcohol swabs and I thought this was interesting to show you guys. I always keep them there but I use those for when I do have a blemish and I have to pick it or something and um, I want to make sure the bacteria doesn't spread. So if I pick a blemish or pop of a zit or whatever I'm having, I use one of these alcohol pads on it to dry it out so that it doesn't spread the bacteria. And I got that tip from a facial lady a long time ago and it's really, really, really helpful. So you wanna kill all the bacteria that does come out of something like that and help dry it out. So I really like having those on hand and I use them all the time just for things like that or you can use them to like sanitize something it's just really nice to have in the little um since i'm always traveling and stuff it's nice to have the little packets and then in here i have a bunch of crazy my deodorants so i have this smith schmidt's rose and vanilla i have the bergamot and lime these are both not really working for me right now so um i'm kind of taking a break and then i had i was using the primal pit paste that kind of stopped working for me, so lady at Credo told me I need to do a pit detox. So she told me about this little guy. Um, it has charcoal and it helps detox your pits, I think, which I've been using organic deodorant for like two years, so maybe I just needed a reset or something, but I'm not sure. But this goes on really smoothly, but definitely doesn't help with odor when you actually sweat. So then I picked up this at the grocery store the other day. This is actually um, rates a three on the Think Dirty app. It's by Urban Cowboy and it's their sport one maximum protection. It smells kind of like a nice manly deodorant but not too strong. So I'm gonna give that a go. And then I use these little hair bobble things. So I have a few of those in here. I use these, um, they're called Tinkle, <laughs> the little Tinkle facial razors to shave my little lady mustache off or trim up like my unibrow and stuff like that. And some people like use these all over their face. They're really handy. You can get them on Amazon. And then I have some like individual contacts that I sometimes use and that's in there. And then the second drawer is like my fiance's stuff. And then down here is where I keep most of my hair products. So I just wanted to show you briefly because I'm going to do a hair video, but I have like a little tangle teaser in here, my blow dryer. This is like a Glossier bag with like hair ties and stuff in it. And then I use like these little twisty headbands when I'm taking my makeup off or taking a shower and not washing my hair. So I have two of those. Have a little scrunchie. And then I use only use a wide tooth comb when I first get out of the shower so I don't damage my hair. So I have two of those in here. This is a different one. And then my like more traditional hairbrush. And then for hair products, I'm gonna talk about these again when I do the hair video, but I just got the Inner Sense um, volumizing mousse, like kind of for your roots. So I'm trying that out. This is the heat protectant I've been using for like one or two years now. It's not organic, but it's the Alterna Bamboo one. And it's the anti-breakage thermal protectant, protects against up to 128 degrees Fahrenheit. I actually feel like this does a really nice job. So I'm trying to find a replacement, but I wanna make sure it actually protects my hair. So I'm still looking for something like that. And then I have the, um, I just got this too. This is the Innersense Leave-In Conditioner Spray. So I thought that might help with my hair on times where I just need some extra moisture on my ends. So that's kind of what's in there. And that's pretty much everything. So that's like a little tour of my bathroom. I thought this would just be kind of interesting and like a fun and different video for you guys to watch and like see what I have around. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and saw some products maybe that you're interested in trying or maybe you have more questions about or something that you were like looking to try. As always, comment down below if you have any questions and I am gonna make a hair video with more details about all those products, how they're working, my routine and all that later. So don't worry about that, it's coming soon. And I'll see you guys in my next video.